In this video, I will be providing you with a simple and uh, easy math formula that you can use to figure out the gable stud height according to the spacing for them in a situation where you were going to pre-cut all of the gable studs and have them be spaced 16 inches on center, for example. And this is something we did when we worked on the tracks to speed up the assembly of the house framing. Now, for those of you who have watched a lot of my videos, I do take my time explaining stuff. I try to uh, provide you with a clear picture of what we're actually doing. And in order to do that, I'm just simply gonna start with a couple of geometric shapes in hopes of making a little bit of sense out of what we're trying to do here. So let's go ahead and start with this shape here, and then let's add the second one. Now, this one here actually has both of the long points points here that we're going to be using and the 16 inch on center spacing but it doesn't provide us with the height difference between all of the gable studs for this particular roof. So let's go ahead and use this rectangle to represent the difference in height between the gable studs. And it will also represent the difference in height of all of the rest of the gable studs. For example, if this measurement was four inches and this measurement here was 10 inches, then I would just simply add four inches on the long point side to determine the height of the next gable stud. So again, if this one was 10 inches, I'm gonna add four inches to this one. That's gonna give me 14 inches. And then I'm going to add four inches to the next one which would give me an 18 inch gable stud. But we're gonna need a math formula to figure out that difference. And we will get to that in a moment. I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page here. And if you're not familiar with the home building or the house framing industry, I need to point out that the slope of the roof is usually referred to in the manner of a 4 and 12, 6 and 12, or 8 and 12 roof pitch. And what that refers to is that for every 12 inches, you're going to go up 4 inches in height on a 4 and 12 roof pitch. If this was a 6 and 12 roof pitch, this measurement would be 6 inches it would go up six inches for every 12 inches. And this is usually a number that you're going to have. It's gonna be referenced on the building plans. And we're going to use this to figure out the proportion of this and this. And if you look at this, where we have a two foot long horizontal vertical measurement, and here we have a one foot long horizontal measurement, then it's not too difficult that all we need to do is double the numbers on this side to provide us with a proportionate number. And that's what we're looking for when we're gonna be trying to figure this out. We're going to take the proportion of this length here and this one here to figure out the differences in the height. So let's go ahead and break out our trusty calculator and get to it here. And as always, I simplified the process. I didn't want to get into cross multiplying fractions, but there are other ways to do this. However, I think this is going to be the easiest. And in order to do it, all we need to do is multiply 16 times four. Go ahead and do that. That gives us 64. And then we're just simply going to divide 64 by 12. And there's our number. And all we need to do with this number here is add it to each one of the gable studs in increments or in sections to get the next gable stud that would be spaced 16 inches on center. Now in the next section of the video, I am going to use the measurement 9.2 or 9 and 3 sixteenths. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this number, it's a number that divides into eight foot with five spaces. And it's actually the reason why I'm making the video is because somebody else watched another one of my videos explaining the gable stud formula in a different way. And I will put a link here to that video. Recommend checking that out if you're interested in a a easier method to deal with spacings like 16 inches on center or 24 inches on center but not this number here so let's go ahead and get started 19 and 3 16 is basically 19.2 and we're going to do it the same way I'm going to multiply 19.2 times 4 
So I'm multiplying this number times the height, which in the math world would be cross multiplying, by the way. And then I'm simply going to divide it by this number. Divide it by 12. And I have 6.4 or 6 and 3 eighths inches. So if I wanted to space out my gable studs, 19.2 inches, 19 and 3 sixteenths inches, I would simply add 6 and 3 eighths of an inch to each one of the gable studs and that should space it accordingly. Now in this part of the video I'm going to point out a problem that I ran into by converting my fractions from a decimal and rounding them up or rounding them down to where they might have been off by a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch which could create problems for the length of the gable studs as you're adding the measurement to the next one. For example if I rounded my number up from 6.4 to 6.5 figured that six and a half inches is going to be close enough which in most cases it will be like for example if you're stuccoing the exterior of the house this isn't going to be a big deal if you're installing plywood siding yes this could be a problem but if I'm adding an extra eighth of an inch because I didn't convert my decimal to a fraction correctly and by the time I get up to two foot eight inches I'm at two foot eight and a half inches that's going to create a problem for my spacing. It's no longer going to be 19.2. It's going to be a little wider. And of course the opposite would be if I rounded down from the decimal 6.4 to maybe six and a quarter, then the spacing is going to be smaller in between the studs, possibly 19 inches instead of 19.2 inches. So what I would suggest would be taking the decimal that you arrive at and using that number to add all of your gable stud measurements together to find the exact length needed for all of your individual gable studs instead of using a fraction that could be inaccurate by just the tiniest amount. Now if you think that there are no more problems you could run into, think again because if you cut each one of your gable studs accurately and you followed everything so far in the video except for the fact that your wall framing plates or your roof rafter isn't perfectly straight, has a crown in it, your plates have dips in them, or they're raised up because the concrete foundation wasn't poured perfectly, then this could also affect the spacing of your gable studs. So what would I suggest if you're going to be doing a house that doesn't require the gable studs to be spaced exactly at four foot for plywood siding or 12 foot on center for other types of siding 16 inches on center then you might want to forget this whole formula thing and measure each one of the gable studs individually and this is actually what i usually end up doing if i'm building a house that is not going to get stuccoed